Welcome back to Historic Headstones in Norfolk. We are still in the beautiful cemetery of uh, Calvary and here in Norfolk. Um, this is uh, a special stone we're going to be talking about today. It's called a zinker. And it has, uh, you can tell when it's a zinker when you do this. All right, so that should give you an indication of what type of stone it is. Although not white, not made of bronze, these memorials are usually very detailed, always different, and found in very good to excellent condition. White bronze monuments are easy to spot once you start looking at their tall tail bluish gray color, which you guys are seeing here. They come in many different sizes from small name stones to orient four side monuments to statues. I've seen them as tiny little baby stones, and I've seen these as tall as three stories. Um, the largest we have here, in, ha in uh, Norfolk, I would say about, uh, about a story tall. And that's over in um, Elmwood Cemetery. Even though they are constructed from metal, they're usually actually hollow. As you can hear that. And interestingly enough, the same company manufactured every one of them across North America. White bronze monuments were popular during the 1880s to 1900, a time when many people considered granite and marble stones to be too expensive. Zinc is which is the element that makes up 99% of the white bronze monument, offered a less expensive alternative to custom designed and detailed gray stones. But there are those who look down on the white bronze maker as being a cheap imitation of solid granite stone. Some cemeteries even ban them. That did not happen here in Norfolk, probably due to the urging of local granite and marble monument companies. All right, so if you've been around, walking around the typical Victorian era cemetery, you'll see a lot of the limestone stones weather really bad. These do not weather. The only time they ever get damaged is when they get struck by a tree, lawnmowers, things like that. If they sat here by themselves and, and they weren't hit by anything or damaged by anything, they can last hundreds and hundreds of years. Now the panels here are very different. Usually when you buy the monument, you have blank panels. When someone passes away, you contact the company and they create a panel for you and they send it down here. And all you have to do is screw the panel in. And that's it. Instead of having a cardboard come out, even the family can do this. It's really easy and it's really uh, cheap compared to uh, stone monuments. And the funny thing is, even though people hated these, they will outlast any stone memorial in this cemetery. It's just the way it is. Now the problem here with this here is we got some staining. There's a lot of boot, bird poop on here and that's from the bird poop. And that's just where that staining is coming from. All right guys, take care and I'll see you at the next episode. Goodbye.